Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Time 4, Kai is right guys, so Ching, let's continue on from last live off. So, we're getting our army reforms passed. Our next one will be done in just a few days. The second Vilkrieg will be happening in just a handful of a uh, months. Probably like two months, because I think it's a 70 day focus. And I don't know how that is necessarily... 10% stability. I mean, stability would be nice. It's more output. Yeah, we'll definitely go, you know, we'll go, we'll go for you. 60 days. But, um, the Spanish Civil War is over. With the second Vilt Creek beginning, it will mean that the Entente and the Reichs Factor are a little bit distracted, which means that the Legation Cities and all that... Unless the Legation Cities... No, they, they're going for the Liberals, which I believe is the American faction? I don't remember which one the Liberals are here. Yeah, it's American influence. It doesn't make any sense that there's any American influence, considering the, like, the United States doesn't exist right now. But that is okay. You guys are still fighting it out. And for the most part, things seem pretty, pretty stable in the world. Of course, except for the demand of Sosla Rain. That's going to be a bit of a thorn in their sides. But I'm sure that's okay. The CSA probably is going to be killed soon. Like, I'm actually... So, I mean, they're, they're falling into Canada. It's a weird situation they got going on there. Right now... We have 9.2 thousand rifles? How do we get... Where do we get 9.2 thousand from? I thought we had, like, a handful. Well, if that's the case... Let me get another... 10 divisions. Does that cut all of our... Yes. But even that short is actually going to last for, like, two months. Which is really not that bad. We won't deploy them quite yet. And I, I know that just building pure infantry divisions really is not the best play. But I think for at least for most of these guys in China, it still works out just fine. Jian Unity. What does that do? You're just it's just a stability modifier. I'm just trying to see. Women's position, stability, war support, social conservatism. So nothing like too, too insane. I do need aluminum. Do I even have another factor I can even use for this? I do. So I will definitely uh, take that. What are you guys doing? We do some negotiations. Does that give me more influence? No, it does give me more factory output. It's actually not bad for you. I don't know if there's anything I can do to, um... We're mending the military generational divide. Fantastic. It's 100, and th this might be the final one. Engine cooperation. Recovery rate. I, I don't know exactly... Where you can see, like, all their modifiers... Army try okay, so it does say here, it's a negative 20%. So there might be two more levels now, this actually only improves it by plus 10. And you're 100, and we're only a third of the way there. So I'm not too sure how we necessarily, um... Get everything else that we need. You can buy more rifles, and you know what? I'll take 50 armor experience to get more rifles, like, every time. I still think that is worthwhile. When is, when, when's Light Tank 3, by the way? Light Tank 3 is 1941. It's about a year to research. How long for you to research? Yep. Something might be happening in the world. 98 days, I'll take it. I think that's completely acceptable, because you guys do have artillery in you. You're 18 combat with. I could throw in an extra infantry division. What if I do, like... a 20 with like this. That would uh, be terrible for us. Do not do that. You guys are still fighting. A grand to see is Calcutta. Which means, yeah, you are kind of actually in like, a weird position. The Kumin National Government is going to war on, on Qing. So you... and Okay, yeah, join war for sure. And call the arms. Chinese Civil War, yes. What are we going to do? We're going to immediately bring Orange Army down towards the south. We're going to immediately bring 
red army down towards the south. I still think that, um... What are you guys going to do? You're going to march across the territory. It, as simple as that. I do, however... I, I think the 24 stack that is on the border with Manchuria is more than enough to kind of handle what we need them to do. By the way, you guys... Go out of airport here. You go to fly here. The fighters probably need to fly to this closer airport, though. And you guys... Do you have aircraft? Zero, zero... No, you don't. So, I should, we should have complete air superiority. No problems about that. I don't need the war support, because, again, this is a defensive war. They are putting troops into the area, which is, of course, not a huge surprise. But we can easily capture a handful of border provinces. Because they, they also should have the penalty for uh, low organization. Enemy air superiority. Apparently it's only like a 6% modifier right now. Which is not ideal. Yeah, the organization is only 28. And I would consider that to be pretty bad. Uh, you guys move here. You move here. Go like something like this. I'm still, of course, worried that the Japanese are going to see this op as an opportunity to invade us. Or the Fanny government, of course. Either one of them would be a uh, disaster for us. What if you did this? If you can actually get this surround going. We're not going to do. Unfortunately. Really? All these planes really only gives us, like, a, that... Like, a 10... I mean, a 10% is not nothing. But I was expecting maybe a little bit more. Okay, so now that you are finished, let's do the pro-imperial propaganda. 60 days is not too, too bad for that. Now, what if you guys... I mean, you're the capital... We can push our way through here. Our allies should be able to cover most of this front line. For the obvious reason, this is actually their territory. So yeah, just move your way into here. And if we can get our way to Gangzhou, kind of hold this entire area. Chicago has fallen, so I think the CSA is probably dead. We shall see. They are pulling more troops in over here. Like, crossing over the river is going to be uh, not ideal. And I guess you guys could still invade me at some point, which is worrying. You guys are still moving position. Like, Gangzhou, it's worth 10 victory points. It would be nice to take. You're putting your entire army, I think, on this front line. Because what are your penalties again? Like, your oversized army... I mean, it's a factory output modifier. It doesn't actually affect your standard troop. We got these guys leaving. You'll be gone in just a few hours. After that, what are we going to do? Just try to smash our way straight to these four, this four stack. With everything we have... Of course, half of you guys are going to keep on going to the next city. You guys have to fight this guy to make sure he doesn't reinforce. You go over here. And you know what? You're going to actually force attack. It's going to take... There's going to be a lot of casualties here, I'm sure. But I do think it is our best option. You guys doing anything... Not putting troops on the border, so I'm assuming they're not really planning on doing an invasion. How many men have we lost? We have lost 9,000 to 7,000. Casually, surprisingly quite low, I would say. And we are exceeding combat with... That's a negative 20. We're apparently low supply right now. This only has 10 supply points in it. That's a 20% modifier for us. We should be able to break through, I think, this guy. If he can push away, of course, towards their uh, capital. 
that would be nice. I see they are throwing kind of more troops into uh, the, these provinces, which is not what I want, of course. Hopefully you guys go into multiple combats, at least like a handful of you. And our, Okay, so our organization right now is at 41. There's, of course, at 28. 20, like, 28 is nice, because we can easily, easily, easily... Um, okay, so that's another... Can I attack you? I can. But once you are dead, you guys push here. We're at 71. One of you guys attacks into that province. We will be next to Hong Kong. And you attack Gang Zhao. There we go. So you are now completely encircled. Legation cities enter the Entente. Shouldn't matter so much, I think. Yeah, world tension is now high enough that I can do some kind of bigger maneuvers that I wanted to. Like, I could take the offensive and justify these war goals. 65 days. We, we could get it done, which is kind of the important part. We don't have any fuel right now. We have no fuel. That's actually really bad because now our planes are not going to be flying. Are ships out to sea? The answer is no, so I don't have to worry about that too much. But you know what? You guys have secured a position for yourselves. I don't know. I mean, that's what? 18? That's 20 divisions in, that, in the encirclement. We know at most they have 80. So at least... A quarter of their army is in there. But more probably like half. So you go here, you go here. They have one city which is probably providing them with like a handful more. Yeah, 50, I'll take 15 political power. Yeah, so you guys go here. You can probably break your... I'm, I'm surprised that supplies are so bad. Is it an infrastructure issue? It might be an infrastructure issue. So, you know what? Let's boost that up a little bit. I think that might be a little bit too much. We'll do like that. You guys should be dealt with soon. Like, I, I know they have a lot of men here. Oh, yeah. We can also go to War Economy. Absolutely. Please and thank you. You're all where I want you to be. We have an extra military factory. I will put you on the artillery, I think, for right now. Like, this is going to be, I think, the first major conflict that we've had. And Russia has declared war on the Reichs Pact. Yeah, just these, the slow, slow encirclement of these guys is nice. Just kind of shrink them down, absolutely crush them. We do have an okay. We do have a research slot. What do we want to research? Probably something useful. We have a land doctrine. We don't. We also have a lot of army experience, probably because of the the war that we're fighting now. You know, what? let's go for the 1940 fighter. You have a ton of men. Where did you get all those divisions from? Have you always had those men? I don't know. I I don't trust that. You're mostly... Romania's going to war the king of Hungary. But you're in... You actually lead the faction when you're in the war. Okay. Serbia is also at war with the Reich's Pact. I mean, we'll see how that kind of goes out for them. Because Poland won't... I, I don't think will allow... No, they, they won't allow... No, 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 they will. They will allow German troops to go through. I don't know why that was so confusing. We'll basically starve these guys out for resources. We need to probably push, like, right here. What, what problem is this? This is hills. We're making 48 fuel. We're spending 700. We also need... You guys are getting, like, none of your oil. 
Russia. I'm going to I'm going to trade all my civilian factories for some oil, please and thank you so I can actually uh, use my tanks and my aircraft effectively. Before they basically had no uh no oil to speak of. Yeah, that's a negative 11% penalty for them. Our low supply is still really bad. If we can actually surround gangs out, I would appreciate that. Yeah, because you're worth two, and two like is not enough to supply all these units. I'm pretty sure the AI wanted to, they could just build a naval base, but I don't think they actually know they can do that. You are a mountain. Yeah, we'll get you guys. I think they keep fighting these guys. Actually, no, you fight here, you fight here. We'll kill the smaller guys first. And have them all be encircled in one bigger army. War descends from the north. As declared within one year, he will uh, invade us. That is... Defending government gains... Why are you telling me this? I don't get any bonuses. Why do they get bonuses? Stay the hell out of here. No, go away. Can I fight a two-front war? I mean, if I... Yeah, I, I could. Maybe. I can fight... If I didn't... Wasn't fighting this war, I could easily kill the defending government. The Japanese are... Yes, please, let's remove, actually, uh... He just said within one year. Which, honestly, I think is actually worse than it sounds. Let's not be in their territory. Focus on our own stuff right now. Next 30 days. That's not what I want to hear. At all. By the way, uh, I will give you control. I don't have control over any of these states, actually. So, never mind. I can't give you anything. Within the next 30 days, um, I'm glad that they warned me. But it would have been nice if they told me maybe a little bit earlier. Someone, I, let me just see. I, I know these guys are not ready to deploy, but I'm deploying them in, please. Let me deploy them in Beijing anyways. Yes, deploy. We're gonna sign you underneath you. You will put you underneath the. Will you be? You can be the yellow army. We'll put you under whoever the best defensive general is. Yellow army, your job is just to defend the line because you are pretty good at doing that. While the blue army, you, you mostly try to attack. Yes, continue army reform. We could just buy. Do I need support equipment or artillery? The answer to the question is yes to both. So I will buy that. France is going to war in the Netherlands. They do that a lot. It makes no sense every time they do it. Okay, let's give you at least a little bit of support here. Problem actually, apparently it's like local infrastructure. Like, does the defending government know that they're planning to invade me? Because they really are putting troops on the border. But I, I think we got this. I mean, I'm more worried about my, my puppet states not being able to uh, withstand the invasion. Right now, we're at 89,000. I mean, we've, we've lost twice the amount of men as our opponents. But that's going to change once we take this province, for sure. Okay, you guys are making ground. Yeah, your organization's kind of just sitting at about 25-ish. Again, I think... I'm going to just force attack with you. Take that city. Can I upgrade any of my generals? Can I make you better? No? Okay, well that's a bit of a shame. I would have really liked to make you a little bit better. It would be nice to take you, but of course that, that's attacking over a river, which is... Not ideal. We have air superiority, but we probably need to move those planes up to the north immediately. I mean, the question is, are we going to be at war with the Japanese? Because the Japanese could destroy our air force easily. Maybe it doesn't make sense to move them in that direction. We, at least, we want to at least take um, these fortifications on the border. But I'm ready for war. 
for sure. I don't know why you guys are leaving the area. Where are you going? No, you don't want to. You don't want to tell me. Well, jokes on you. I didn't want to know. It's seventy-two. Like this invasion's not gonna work. Which is a real shame. I guess we'll just like try to. We'll hold the line. For now. I'm, I'm thinking. We if we hold the line. You know, what? even getting like the the 1941 artillery upgrade, I, I don't think it's a mistake either. But I'm thinking, we hold the line, we defeat the Japanese, and then we pull our whole might on the south. And, or we, or we can also, one, I'm going to move my, my ships out of this port, send them down towards, uh, let's send them here. I think you guys are kind of preparing a war against the, the Japanese, which I do appreciate a great deal. How's the CSA doing, by the way? Not great. Also, we might have to go to war with the Russians at some point as well, which is also, of course, not what we are really wanting to do. And I think we can easily clean up this. It'll pull all these troops on the actual border. We can maybe move troops around after that point. The American syndicates, Austria's little war in Romania. But Romania is... Yeah, Romania is you. Being worth the Austrians, I don't think makes any difference. And you're about to collapse. Okay, so the CSA has been killed. And you declared war on us. You fool! I've been preparing this day my entire life. You think you got me, but you have. Do not disband the army. No, absolutely not. That is a mistake. Your job, of course, is, hey, move up here. Your job is to go this way, up and around. And your job is, of course, like, they didn't even fill up, like, their entire front line. I don't know what their plan there was. But I do think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks so much for watching, my handsome. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, enjoy, toy some down. Want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.